It's the goal that every young player strives for, to have a shining moment where they can be like football legends. At least that's what running back Quinton Parson hopes for every Saturday morning. David Thompson, I like him because he's fast and cool, likes his jukes and all that, spins. But even with his abilities, he probably could not run his teammate Terrell Jacks, whose hard hits and quick feet are reminiscent of a former Douglas County resident. Probably Troy Palmolive. He's really athletic and he is a good like pass reader and he runs people over. <laughs> but for this game, 11-year-old Taylor Exine wants to copy another side of his NFL heroes, their heart. One of my grandma, she recently had, well, recently got lung cancer. And um, since there's no um, month for lung cancer, I decided that there was a month for breast cancer. So I thought that the team should wear pink in honor of that. Taylor got the idea from the NFL's current campaign, but since they don't have any corporate sponsors to supply the gloves or shiny pink shoes, Exine had to go with option B, medical tape. Due to the recent diagnosis, Taylor's grandmother hasn't been able to make it to any of the games this year. When his fellow renegades heard about the idea, they couldn't have been more eager to help, which delighted Taylor and his coaches. It was a little emotional. It, uh, you know, I mean, it's real personal. You know, it's been really, really hard, harder on him than he'll admit. But uh, a little kid uh, stood up in front of all those 11-year-old boys and said, hey, I want to do this for my grandma. I want you guys to wear pink. And, and they were like, okay, let's do it. With a possible trip to the championship on the line, Taylor wanted to help win this one for the team that supported him. So late in the first quarter, with the Renegades near the end zone, Exing caught a perfect pass from his QB and took it in for the first score of the game. As he crossed the goal line and the players came over to celebrate, Taylor noticed an SUV parked near the field, and sitting in the passenger seat was a familiar face, his grandma. When I caught that touchdown and then I looked over there and I saw her and then it made me feel like amazed, like, I don't know, just really, really good. For KPIC News, I'm Glenn Beebe.